Hello everyone and welcome to another StarCraft 2 replay, this time on Steps of War. And I'm having to redo this commentary for the third time. Annoying. Especially since I'm doing a replay or a commentary marathon here where I did about uh, three straight before that. So yeah, I've actually run out of questions to answer, so there's going to be no answered questions in this um, uh, video. But uh, feel free to leave more questions either in video comments or on my channel, and I'll be sure to answer them following videos. So my Protoss opponent is Anubis, and his scout is going to get caught. I'll uh, back that up and I'll show that one more time how you do it. If he enters through your mineral line, you want to kill it. So if he enters from here, grab your SCVs on the other side and A-move with them. So he enters here, wait till he's about here, and then A-move with your like four or five SCVs you grab from the opposing side, and then auto surround will do the work. Yes, you lose maybe 10, 15, 20 minerals worth of mining time there. But I think that's more than worth it because you get to kill a 50 mineral probe. And even more importantly than that, you get to kill his early scout. So unless he decides to send another scout, uh, he is going to be playing blind right now. And if he's expecting standard Protoss play, or standard Terran play when playing blind, he's going to be in for a shock because I'm not playing standard. So I basically all get to my fast command up for free. Uh, so Nubis actually is a really high-ranked player. He's about a 70% win rate, which is insanely high. Not quite sure if I've said that or not. I've done this commentary so many times. And, uh, yeah, 60% in Diamond League is really high. I'm not even 60, so the fact that he's 70 is pretty amazing. And he's in the top 10 in his division. Um, but he's going to go for a very non-standard build, that's for sure. So that's kind of why I'm putting this video up. Uh, so what else is going on here? Uh, I do want to talk about how I've tweaked my fast expand build just a touch. Um, basically what I do now is I stop at 18 of 19. Because you're going to get capped of 19 19 anyway, so you don't lose much stopping at 18 of 19. And then that allows me to put my barracks down a little bit earlier. And then right after your barracks, you want to put your engineering bay down. Um, this completes your wall faster because I've actually had a chrono boost boosted zealot get in. Because chrono boosted zealots show up at about uh, three minutes and fifty seconds at their soonest on steps of war, uh, unless he proxy gated, in which case they could show up even earlier. So this gets my wall closed and like right before the uh, the chrono boosted zealot could show up. So then you, so after you place your engineering bay, now you build your 19th SCV. And as you don't lose much, because you're going to get capped to 19 and 19 anyways, so it doesn't really put you any further behind. Uh, the other nice thing is it allows me to do my barracks first, so I don't have to worry about going engineering bay first. That means I got my bunker up sooner, which is really important to stop in the stalker rush. And then my engineering bay finishes, look at that, in perfect timing. Exact same time as the command center. Um, and if I were faster, I could have immediately started my planetary fortress. Uh, so it looks like I'm getting my bunker and marine first. I don't think I'd suggest this typically. You probably want to go straight to marauders, because um, zealot rush isn't really a threat to you, but Stalker Rush is, so you want to get the tech lab down and get the Stalkers out. Uh, my early scout does get into his base, and I notice that there's two gateways, and that the cyber core is spinning, making me think warp gates. So, both those things tell me it's not going to be Void Rays. Usually if it's Void Rays, it's only going to be one gateway, and he won't get the warp gate tech. So I'm thinking, uh, ooh, another free probe kill, that's nice. So I'm thinking, uh, yeah, standard gateway play, so it's going to be a stalker heavy army, so I really want to get the marauders out, so I'm going to be throwing tech labs on these new barracks, and I'm going to be throwing a tech lab on that one here. There we go. And I'll still have a solid seal as long as I close that. There we go, now it's a solid seal. Do, do, do. So more or less at this point, just trying to get my army count up, not supply cap myself, get my SCV count up. These are all things I don't have to worry about at this point. 
Uh, you definitely don't want to get supply capped at this point in the game. It's just too important to get an early armor in, in case of a start. In case of a uh, Stargate rush. Not Stargate rush, in case of a Stalker rush. So I think I just scanned his base, did I? Nope, I didn't. Oh well. I went Mule instead. So even though I'm behind in Harvesters, which it will be against Protoss because he has Chrono Boost, um, the fact that I had my expansion down earlier means I'm ahead in mineral intake, and then mules even give you a bigger boost than that. Just do my standard, pumping up Marauders, starting my tech towards Medivacs, uh, second engineering base so I can get 1-1 one, one a little bit earlier. What we got here? Ghost Academy. Oh, ghosts always useful. But if you're going to go ghosts early, you need to get your gas down. So I'm going to get my uh, gas populated fast. And I think by now I probably scanned them. Reset. Yep, so I've scanned them mm -hmm. and I see, you know, Robo with two warp gates. So nothing to make me think anything different than usual build. Um, I would probably assume okay. there's more warp okay. gates somewhere else, maybe another uh, robotics bay. But as it turns out, this is almost like bait. He puts all these buildings here where I typically scan, and in the background he's going for a late Void Ray rush. Um, true, this is only going to come up mid-game, this isn't a super fast rush, but it has some advantages. One, I'm completely unprepared for it because I'm expecting this junk. And two, you can pump from four Stargates at once since you're going off of two base play. Uh, well, not the fact that it's two base play, but the fact that it's four gas play more or less. So he's chronoing out from these four stargates, and he's going to be attacking me with nine void rays, I believe. Um, so I just do my usual stuff. I got a few marines mixed in now, five of them, but they're still very marauder heavy, uh, as I'm expecting the gateway units. And since marauders are better versus things like colossi, if he goes for robotics. my usual, getting my uh, ghost tech. Yeah, I already got my Mobius reactor, so I should have ghosts coming out soon. Got my medevacs on the way out. Pumped me for a bunch of barracks. Blew out these rocks. Got my command center ready. And my factory has spotted his expansion. So I think everything's going well for me at this point, except I have no idea about that. So I'm going to time my attack here, send out my attack the same time you expand, always a smart idea. That way even if my attack fails, I could have a planetary fortress done. Um, so if nothing else, it buys me a safe expansion. Uh, I'm going to pause it here, I just want to see how I would have done, it's kind of interesting, me here. interesting to me. Uh, I got 9 marines, uh, 1 ghost, I had 2, got another ghost somewhere I believe. And, uh, yeah, two ghosts. And four medevacs and a missile turret versus nine void rays with no charge. Yeah, I think if I sell my base, I still would be able to hold it off fine. Um, I don't have enough to hold it off, but I got enough to buy time and I can just start pumping marines and vikings, and I think I would have been able to save this base. But that's all theory because that's not what's going to happen. He's going to attack my base here. No chance to save this planetary. I mean, don't even bother trying to repair it. It's just a waste of money. At the same time, I'm going to take out his expansion. And what I do is I send my marines, my medevacs, and eventually my ghosts back to my main base. And in combination with um, uh, my new marines and vikings game pumped out, I think that's more than enough to bust up uh, all those void rays. And at the same time, I send all my Marauders to counterattack, but they would be useless for the Void. And all he has is a small ground army, which is unupgraded. So I think I would have been easily been able to take up this Nexus and all the probes, and if I wanted to suicide Marauders, I probably could have even come in here and sniped off this Nexus. So had he continued attacking with his uh, Void Rays, I'm 99% sure I would have been able to hold, uh, hold them off of my base and return some terrible, terrible damage to uh, his base. Um, so he made the smart move and decided to pull back his Void Rays to a defensive stance, so he held off my Marauder push. So that more or less ended that two-pronged attack, with one prong being from each of us. And more or less all it did was keep us both at two bases. I took out his third base, so he's still at two bases, 
He took out my natural at the same time my third went up, so I more or less stayed at two base the entire time. I mean, I, I think almost all my SCVs survived those void raids. He may have killed maybe three, four, five of them. Uh, so definitely doing a higher marine mix now. See, I got uh, a good 30 marines. And pumping up Vikings. So I got the five Vikings on the field. Uh, at the same time, looks like I'm at 2-2 two, two upgrades with 3-2 three, on the way. Uh, I would like to go for 3-3 three, three and to get ship weapons 1 for my Vikings. However, I found myself a little capped on Vespian. Uh, it's because I had to get these gases down. I was work I was stuck on two gases for a while after I lost my second base. Uh, I did spot that he was pointing down his expansion once more, and I was even able to flee my factory away. That's pretty sick how my factory can avoid all this mess. And there you have it. This is why I did this video. Mothership. I have never, ever, ever seen a mothership used in 1v1 ladder. There it is. It looks like I even pulled a Void Ray, and he's pulling out to attack my force, because I moved out to take out his expansion once more. And I guess I'll on this battle, here it is. Uh, I scan him so I can see the Void Rays and attack the Void Rays if I wish. Um, same time, ooh, that was a nice EMP. Take out all their shields and even make them revealed. That EMP only hit one Void Ray that had no shields, so that one was useless. He is bringing his ground force now, his ground force is late, but he has caught my Marauders out of position. Another solid EMP that knocks out almost all the shields on his ground units. Pretty sure I just dropped three EMPs and probably did about 1500 damage worth with them. Um, probably more, probably about 2000 damage worth. <laughs> Got all the EMPs. And having taken out his entire ground force, I know I can just I'm probably, I'll be walking into his base with just Void Rays on defense, which isn't much of a defense, especially being uncharged. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to leave these units behind, not even pull my reinforcements and still take you out. So there you have it. Maybe not the most interesting, exciting match ever, but this will probably be the one and only time you'll ever see Mothership. Uh, I'm sure there's a joke I can use here, having killed him and he had a Mothership, something involving mummification, Anubis. I don't know. You can insert your own joke there. Uh, yeah. So that's a good game. And like any mannered opponent, he first before these has to explain why he should have won and why I'm a noob. Basically, just say you caught me off guard with the voids, and you damn right straight he did. Uh, I still say those are good indicators that he's not going to void rush when you scout him. If you see a spinning cyber core, if you see multiple gateways, if you see warp gates. Robo Bay, those are all things that typically mean no uh, no void race to come. Kind of interested why he didn't uh, actually use his mothership. Doesn't he have a special? Doesn't look like they have special abilities. Hulk comes standard. It could have vortex. Oh, maybe he didn't have the energy for it. Let's see. Then he goes up here. Comes down here to attack my base. And he goes back to attack my force. And he's got no he's got 110 energy. He could have used a vortex. Uh it's a lot like Stasis Field from StarCraft One, where he can throw down a vortex, half my army will be taken out of the battle. So then he can easily clean up the remaining half of my army. And then once my uh then the second half of my army will pop out of the vortex and you can easily clean that up. So I guess I fight my army in halves. And a nice counter to that actually, especially when you're in the open field, you probably don't want to do it if you're defending your own base. But if he gets half your units caught in the vortex, grab the rest of your units and throw them all in the vortex. That way he's got nothing left to attack and you get to fight with all your army at the same time once they pop out of the vortex. And with that, I kind of want to keep this video under 15 minutes, and I think I might have been able to do it, so I'm going to stop this replay here, and GG, everyone.